Hello everyone, welcome to our sunny spot in our uh, front porch. Today I want to do a video on few little projects that we did in the last uh, few weeks. These three things I think it's important that we talk about them. So those three things what we did was basically we added gutters on the outside of the house. We added insulation in our attic because it has been really cold here. And we added some electronic devices to monitor the electrical consumption of uh, some of our items. So I'll tell you about them. First thing I wanted to talk about is the gutters. So I will show you around. But before we did, I was planning, for a long time I was planning to buy the materials and do it ourselves. When I started actually looking at it, because we wanted to have the house painted first before we put the gutters, and when I started looking at it, the price just didn't make sense to buy the materials, compared with just paying someone to come and do it. The, the adding up all the materials, and uh, bear in mind this would be the PVC standard ones, against just uh, hiring someone and do it, the price difference was really small, so we went with just uh, some company who specializes in gutters and they came and they made them here. The difference, they did them in aluminium. So they basically literally do them up to measure right here on site uh, instead of cutting small pieces and joining them together. So the result is much better than if you would do them in your standard PVC. As I said, it was slightly more expensive. I'll tell you about the prices. But I think it was really worth it. So let me show you what they look like. So this is one corner of the house. This is where we started from here. Uh, bear in mind that this side only has one tile. That's why we didn't put any in here, to be honest. So we started from here, and as you can see, this is one of the points where the water comes through, and uh, yeah, it's all metal. It's all done up to measure, and. Uh, yeah, it, 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 I think it just looks really good. It was very easy for them to install it. Uh, they basically scheduled the day, came here, took all the measures, make them outside and then just put them together. So it goes all around. As you can see, we have one point where it comes down here. Then from that roof, which is higher, it comes down into these to uh, get out here. and. The nice thing about this system is you get it, it's one piece. There is no joining parts here, only obviously the corners. But this is made to, to be one piece and it's more robust than PVC and I think it looks much better and hopefully it will be more durable as well. I'm really happy how it turned out. It was easy, they came and uh, I mean they started about 10 a.m. and it was done like at 2 or 3 p.m. It looks good. This color, it actually really suits our house because this is not white, that is white, but this is, it's almost like the same color as our walls, which I think was really nice. Uh, you can choose any color you want, to be honest, but um, yeah, we went with white. In terms of price, we paid about 10 euros per meter here. Obviously, they count the top and they count these in total we paid 440 euros for the whole house as all around all around and here these bits so it was about 44 meters basically for the material for labor for not having to worry about anything i think it was a really good investment because as i was saying when i was comparing with buying pvc to do it which wouldn't be nowhere near as good a solution as this is and i was coming up with just for materials about six or seven euros per meter so for me it was a no-brainer to go with this one of the reasons why did we put uh, decided to go add getters a couple of reasons first this is an old house and it has obviously problems in terms of humidity and so we wanted to take all the water as much water away from the house as we possibly can the second is uh, we also wanted a solution to get some of that water and reuse them. If we can use all this water in our garden, that would be perfect. We are not there yet because as you can see, it's coming here, it's coming there. And now we already have some containers, but now we, I need to find a solution to bring water from here into the container. That would be easier if I, we would want to have the containers here, obviously. could just put them here, run straight in. 
but we are trying to find the best possible solution to also look good so we don't want them right here um, so that's a work in progress basically so the other topic which was basically two things we did separate ways but they are kind of connected is and I'm sure if you live in Portugal you have noticed the last few weeks have been very cold uh, December was very cold and the beginning of January when we did the renovation uh, we and this is wasn't an accident we knew this was gonna happen uh, we decided to not put any heat source well any extra our only heat source was we had two air conditions in the house and we just moved them to different places so we have one air AC in the living room kitchen living space and another one in our bedroom and that's our only heating source and that was a decision that we made because we wanted to see how how it actually is on our full winter here and see what we need before we invest in other kinds of systems to keep the, the, the temperature in the house fairly uh, comfortable the, the, the AC had to be running pretty much all day uh, so one of the things that we didn't do on the renovation it was on always on the plants and we never did it but we managed to do it now over between Christmas and uh, I think January can't remember exactly the date but it was to add insulation in our attic so we didn't have anything there it was just basically cement and beams and there is nothing and then just the tiles Portuguese standard way so one of the solutions that I did a lot of research on there and one of the easiest, cheapest and most effective solutions that I could find was basically to put uh, wool rolls, uh, wool insulation on top of the attic. So we bought the few rolls and uh, that's one of the projects that we did. We basically laid down the rolls, we laid two layers of um, six centimeters each, so it's the wool rolls with the uh, craft paper underneath that works as a kind of um, moisture barrier so we laid one with the with the craft paper down and the second one with the rolls on the other way with the paper up so that's basically to have as, le as less gaps as possible laying this insulation on top uh, it was fairly easy to do I mean it's, it's a bit of a nasty material uh, but it's not difficult to do basically just need to cut it and uh, the thing is it's it's cheap fairly cheap to do and uh, yeah it proves to 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 make a difference we did that on a weekend it was actually a day that we we did it had a bit of an accident <laughs> doing that <laughs> i i should have been filming uh, yeah basically i fell off from the attic <laughs> and uh, yeah <laughs> all the way down and it's a uh, 2.8 meters ceiling so it wasn't fun at the time it cost us each of the rolls was about 20 22 euros and it covers 14 square meters so for two layers the whole house we paid uh, just over 200 euros with delivery and we still have two rolls left uh, left over after that anyway so and, I, and it just made quite a huge difference. We could see that our house in the morning, just the day after adding that insulation, was easily 2 to 3 degrees warmer than the days before. Also, it helps really because the temperature just goes up much quicker when we have the, the AC running than it, does, uh, than it did before. So I'm very happy with, uh, yeah, with that job. And if you don't have insulation in your attic and uh, you want to do something that is easy and e effective I would I would recommend you this brings me to the third point of what I wanted to talk which is we added some devices on our air conditioning and on our uh, water boiler as well that we are running and monitoring every day how much energy we use so we could see what was the difference between obviously the day temperature also affects that but we could see what difference did the insulation make uh, to our energy energy consumption so I'm gonna show you the app uh, 
So yeah, we basically we have two devices, one on our water heater and one on our air condition. And um, yeah, if I check one of them, this basically tells us how much power we are using, current and voltage. And this is real time, well it takes a few seconds to come up first anyway. And we can see our consum consumption. And this is what I was saying that we can see what was the difference on those days when we added the insulation. And if you look at our graph, you can see here, this is the day we added the insulation. And if the days before we were using about 17 to 18 uh, kilowatts of energy, the day after it came down to 12 and this this is not when the cold stopped this is when the kind of got warmer but here the, the 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 temperature kept pretty much the same and you can see that our energy consumption to keep the house at the same temperature just came down from about 17 18 to about 12 which is really big change when you think about it and i'm really happy we did this up so as I was saying, we can basically come here, put this thing on schedulers, I don't have it at the moment, timers, see all the consumption, uh, see it in real time. And uh, if we go back here, we can see things like uh, consumption in December, for instance. You can set up how much it costs you for uh, one kilowatt, how much you are paying. And this is basically how much we, we, we spent 30 euros in December on house heating with the AC uh, 30 euros 16 cents in January with all the cold we are already at 35 still a few days for the end of the month uh, yeah that's how much we are paying to heat the house at the moment so yeah I will We'll put down a, a, on our description a link for those um, devices in, in case if you are interested. So those are three things that we did to kind of uh, make our house more comfortable, a bit more efficient um, for winter. And uh, this will also make it more comfortable in summer, obviously. But it does make a difference in winter. And, and we know how cold it can be in Portugal in the winter inside your house. So yeah uh, maybe that will be helpful for you as well to think about these possibilities and uh, yeah try to implement some of them so thanks for watching and uh, we will see you on the next video bye